My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist, and I want to chat with you about connection. So recently I heard this term called connection economy. Over the last year, we've all been confined to our homes, working from home, working remotely and working on digital platforms. Well, before this happened, we all used digital platforms to connect with one another. You are on social media, you're watching YouTube, you are on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Clubhouse, how many more are there? Even if you are not proficient at social media, you're using digital platforms to connect with professionals, to connect with your clients and customers. So this connection that we are creating with one another is now being called the connection economy. I think that is in part because we actually miss feeling connected and somewhere in our minds, we're telling ourselves this story that digital connection is not the same as in-person connection. While that may be true to some degree, our digital platforms, our digital media serves a purpose for us to further our vision, our mission, and to build true connection, not just with one person at a time, but with many people at a time. Social media will have you thinking that the most important thing about communicating on digital platforms is to be liked and followed and shared. And while I think that that's really important because it does increase your reach, and I certainly think that that's, that, is, that is why we're all in part on social media, we cannot forget that connection economy and connecting is about authentically sharing authentically contributing and knowing exactly what your value proposition is and leading with that. If you think about your value proposition, essentially why you do what you do, you will very quickly get to this point where you recognize that in order to, for you to really truly fulfill your value proposition, you need other people. You need your clients, you need your network, you need your audience, you need your inner circle of friends and family and supporters who believe in you. Nothing we do happens in a vacuum, nor should it. So digital connection is this awesome place for you to communicate your value proposition to enroll by sharing with authenticity and with intentionality what it is that you do and why you do it. It doesn't matter if you sell real estate or making widgets you're selling on Etsy or a coach, a doctor, any kind of professional. If you are on these platforms, if you are digitally connected, it is incumbent upon you to connect and communicate and lead with your value proposition. Okay, so if you're doing that, one of the exciting things that the digital platform offers is for you to shout other people out who have even just the slightest thing in common with you. And in common doesn't mean they do what you do, but they maybe think of the world in a similar way. Start with that, connect with them. These might be vendors. These might be past clients or customers. These might be people who are interested in similar things as you are. Things that are professionally aligned with what you're doing. One connection I've noticed recently, probably because of the world that I'm currently in with my clients, is the natural connection between loan originators and realtors. The natural connection between somebody who loves to promote um, distillers and craftsmen makers in that industry and also has founded uh, the Story Festival. So finding those connections and naturally bringing those points together allows you to increase your connectivity and increase your reach. So content and connection is about pointing to your value proposition, pointing to other people who do similar things to you or complementary things to what you're doing, people who share in your vision, your clients and your customers, shouting out the good things that they're doing. It got me to thinking that perhaps 
the connection economy is about creating kindness as a currency. It's about finding the good things and talking about people behind their back, but openly on social media in a positive and optimistic way. It's very encouraging to me to see when other professionals shout out other professionals because it starts to become about connection and we no longer or we're moving away from talking about ourselves and talking about what we think and we're widening the circle and we're widening the table and we are inviting other thoughts and other ideas in. And I think that is the power of connection and digital media and digital platforms are, give us this incredible opportunity to leverage connection, to have more conversation that is in line with who we want to be. I think this is why I feel so strongly about hybrid networking. I think this is why I feel so excited to be in an environment that has, um, has boundaries attached to it, right? We meet every first and third Thursday of the month. We have a set agenda. We have the opportunity to connect with one another. We have the opportunity to speak to one another. And I find it very encouraging to be on a hybrid platform, to hear from other professionals, to hear what they're excited about, to hear how they're struggling, to hear how I can support them, to speak about what kind of support I would need from them. The hybrid digital platforms allow us to expand our relationships, to deepen our relationships, to, even be, to be even more authentic, to be even more connected to our value proposition, and to, to, to share even better what it is that we're doing and why we're doing it. So next time you are on a digital platform, next time you are getting ready to share something on Instagram or LinkedIn, Think about who you can talk nicely about. Who can you shout out? Who can you tag? What can you see that they're doing that you might want to share? And then tell your audience why you are sharing that. Find something that is in alignment with who you are and point that out in your competitor, in your partners, in your vendors, in your clients and see how that actually will begin to widen your connection and deepen your relationships. I think connection economy is really exciting. I think it's exciting to think about it in a way that creates opportunity for everybody. Thanks for watching.